Made it back in Nom Pen, as you can probably gather. Having a usual walk up Riverside. Way down at the moment, as you can probably see. Uh, first day here was okay. Got here in the morning, checked into the hotel. A little bit of a drama, but that was because of a booking I had to change. Didn't get didn't cancel it correctly. A little bit of drama, as I said, for that. So that wasn't too too much problem. Cancelled one, fixed that up. So they were pretty good about that. So once that was done, it was really good. Uh, hotel room. I'll do a review on that. I did get some other video footage. Tried again with my one for a better word, laptop, but it's not using the files from the GoPro. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll have to wait till later to try and fix it all up. Can't do it while I'm here. Anyway, back to the room. The room's a nice size. Air conditioning worked well. A nice little courtyard and everything. So air conditioning worked well. Fridge full of extras, which I usually buy my own anyway because they most hotels will charge a fortune for using their drinks and everything. That's how they make their little bit of extra. That was fine. Uh, nice flat screen TV, nice big one, worked well. Air conditioning worked really well. Nice bathroom, had three modes of water, a rainfall, a little handheld job, and you could even take a bath. So that was good. Never had a bath, I haven't had a bath in years, but anyway. So all up. Got to the hotel really good, checked in, as I said, a little drama, got through, and uh, relaxed a little bit. Wasn't until later on that night that uh, the reason for me coming, uh, someone sort of called her and sort of let slip that I was here. So anyway, so much for that surprise. Well, sort of. So, her sister actually knew from that day, the first night, that I was actually here. So all happy, all good, surprised, that's the best part about it. And uh, all went down really well. So this was my first time at a full traditional Khmer wedding. So that involves two days uh, participation and also being there when they have their dress changes. And there was a few of them. The actual prayers and thank yous given, I, I, obviously I didn't understand all that. Having it slowly sort of interpreted for me sort of didn't really help it. Because they had their costume changes, their prayers. One thing I did notice about it, it was mostly the elderly who were really stemmed into the tradition of doing everything. Uh, as far as being there for the wedding, blessings and all that. So, end up being four changes of uh, attire. All good, all colourful, look really good in a traditional. And uh, I only like that. So, it was a little bit of a part of it, but it was okay. And from there, uh, I had the first two changes then stopped overnight, up early the next morning. That was a start at five o'clock in the morning for most. Whew, I didn't stay there, I stayed pretty close by at a guest house, which is a new one that was there. So surprise, surprise, that was actually quite good. Aircon worked well, really big room, small TV, but didn't watch TV at all. And uh, yeah, had a good night's sleep. Everything was re worked really well. So oh, I enjoyed that particular state. It was a surprise for out in the middle of basically the province. Uh, so cool, good, happy, happy with that. So the next day started early in the morning. And from there went back, done their first uh, prayer for the day. Again, mostly the elderly steeped in tradition, the family were there. And from that, waiting, waiting, waiting. And on the last part of the day, it was when everybody was going to turn up. That was usually around five o'clock, I think it was. So then everybody got set up for that. That was quite good. So plenty of people there, all turned up. That's when the party begins and everybody enjoys themselves. Thanks for 
eats much food, drinks, drinks a lot of beer. So that was all good. And uh, yeah, can't complain about that. Did that last time. Yeah, I'm okay, thanks. So for now, that was good. And we done that. And uh, sort of survived that for a night. So I stayed the first night in the hotel. The second night, I stayed there at partner's brother's place. Oh, I paid the price for that. Uh, sleeping on their bamboo wooden slatted bed, one for better work, because that's all it really was. Insects and mozzies didn't didn't really affect me at all. I had a couple of nibbles here and there, but other than that, no. After that, uh, end up gathering our thoughts together. Came back up to Phnom Penh, so that that would be make that day three of my five day trip done and dusted. So as you can see, uh, again, this is where I'm at. Uh, went out just drinking a couple of places, but we'll get more into that on the next vlog. Anyway, that's it for now. So, if you like, give me a like, leave us a comment, any questions, I'll try and answer, and please subscribe. Ciao for now.